So today we're going to talk about how chest drive is the key to more compression. Today I wanted to walk you guys through a couple of my favorite feels and drills to get you turning more like I like to see. Welcome back out to beautiful Superstition Mountain where I get the privilege to teach a lot of golf lessons. It's a wonderful place. So for a long time, people have thought about the golf swing as being driven by the hips and the chest kind of following along. And to some level that might be correct, but I, I really like to feel like the chest is in the driver's seat for a lot of the downswing. So one of the things I've heard is that at impact, the chest and the shoulders should be square to closed at impact like this. But is that something we really see from elite ball strikers? And, and I'd say that probably not. What I really tend to see most from the best ball strikers is I see them going into some flexion in their hips. So they're actually adding a little bit of hinge in the hips which allows their chest to aim down enough so now they can turn and contact is gonna look something along this, these lines with the chest. Now, the arms are gonna look more like this, but that's where the chest is at. The chest is getting around and it's staying in its incline. So, one of my favorite drills is using a hockey stick. The reason I like it is it's a long extension that we can attached to ourselves, and now as I'm turning, I can see if I'm bending correctly, and I can feel how to add the proper amount of hip hinge, proper amount of side bends, and get my chest to turn on the plane I want it to so I can deliver the golf club into impact. Let's walk you through a couple of the things I see as most common faults, and then how this drill can help you to clean up those faults. So number one, let's start with backswing. Often I see players in their backswings feel like they're turning, but you can see here how this hockey stick is really level to the horizon. And what I prefer to see would be me going into the proper left bend and that hockey stick getting elevated. If that's happening, then I know I'm turning and bending correctly, okay? The next thing I see that players do a little wrong is they try to, once they've wound up, they try to unwind by firing the hips and their upper body staying closed. And now you can see I'm, I, can't, I can't get to that impact bag from here. I'm kind of locked up. And so if that happens, now I've got to use my hands to flip and get up to that ball where what I would prefer to see, we've created this nice big windup. Now I wanna see a little bit of flex in the hips and you can see my chest is down. Now we're really gonna feel the unwinding of the rib cage. So I'm actually letting my thoracic spine unwind. Bang, something along those lines. If you've followed my coaching and my Instagram page, you've probably noticed that I really like to use a hockey stick as a training aid. And often, the way I start lessons is with some movement exercises. You'll see my students going through a series of exercises from club across the chest, winding it up, circling it back under, to holding it kind of like a hockey stick and learning how to move the center of mass. It's something I really utilize a lot in my coaching. What we're looking for at impact from face on is we're looking to see some amount of hip hinge. We're looking to see the chest down and pointed somewhere. If I had an Ironman light, it's pointed somewhere out in front of the ball. You can see that's basically on a 45 degree angle. And I'm in my bends so that this stick is hitting the bag. Now, what that does for us is it allows us, if I get into that same impact position, so you can see that's the same impact position, and put my hands on the stick. Now I'm able to have my right arm bent, my right wrist bent back, and my right arm under my left arm, and create this line of compression on the back of the shaft. 
Now all of us don't have a hockey stick just lying around like I do in my golf bag. So if you don't, you can use your golf club as well. You can do the same exact thing. Put it on your chest, cross your chest like this, and imagine that the ball's about, you know, thigh high. Create the same wind up relationship and unwind, and you're trying to get this, the head of the club to go past where the golf ball would be. If you feel what that feels like, you'll know you're not gonna be able to get there. If you fire your hips, you can't get to that spot. So you've got to flex into your legs. So now I want to show you guys what this looks like when applied to a golf ball. But first I'm going to start by delivering the club into the impact bag with that same hockey stick feeling where I get this line of compression. So I'm delivering, bang, bang. Now I'm going to hit one and you'll be able to see this kind of a low flighted shot. So that shot felt like I did exactly what I was rehearsing there. I felt like I was flexing down and turning my chest where the Iron Man lights pointing somewhere out in front and I have this nice line of compression here at contact. So these are a few of a few great exercises that you can do to train yourself this proper motion. Make sure you slow it down, go through the motions correctly, and if you want to learn more about it and how you can apply this to your game, come visit us at milolinesgolf.com where we have lots of these exercises and personalized coaching to help you play the best golf of your life. If you're new to our channel, please hit the like button and the subscribe and We'll have lots of content here for you.